Hello, this is Pastor Miller. Thanks for linking into the children's message today. Jesus liked to tell stories to teach his disciples about his kingdom. One time he told a story when Peter was asking about how often he should forgive his brother who sinned against him. We all have that happen from time to time. Somebody does something mean to us. They hurt us or call us a mean name. They say bad things about us. How many times should we forgive them? Peter thought maybe seven was enough. He thought he was being pretty generous. But you know what Jesus said? He said, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Now, 70 times seven is 490. Was Jesus saying, forgive 490 times? No, he was really saying, just stop counting. Just keep on forgiving those who sin against you, just like God forgives us. Just think, we all do lots of wrong things every day. We say bad words, we do bad things, we don't do the good things we're supposed to do, we have bad thoughts. But Jesus died on the cross and rose again from the dead to take away all of those sins. When we believe in Jesus, God the Father does not count any one of those bad things we did against us. To explain more, Jesus told a story that we know as the parable of the unforgiving servant. A parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. The story is about things and people on earth, but Jesus is really teaching us about how he does things in his kingdom. He said there was a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. So here are the scrolls on which the accounts were written. The king would look under each name and see how much money each of his servants owed him. It was found that there was a servant who owed him 10,000 talents. Now, just one talent of silver or gold was a lot of money, but 10,000 talents is a humongous debt. In real life, nobody would ever let anybody borrow that amount of money. But Jesus is teaching us how much he has forgiven us. There was no way the servant could pay all that money back. So the king decreed that he should be sold as a slave and his wife and children too, so that at least a little payment could be made. No wonder his children look scared. The king has this soldier here with his sharp spear ready to force the man and his whole family to be slaves. So what did the servant do? He got down on his knees and he begged the king, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. Of course, the servant would never, ever be able to pay it back, but he begged anyway. What did the king do? He felt sorry for the man. and He decided to cancel the whole debt. Wow! That means the king decided he would let the man go free and he wouldn't have to pay back anything, not even one little coin. So what is Jesus teaching us? He's teaching us how much he loves us. Just think if there was a scroll for each of us. Every time we did something wrong, it was written in that scroll. I know there'd be a lot of marks by my name. But the good news is that Jesus has forgiven us all our sins. He's erased any mark on any scroll. There really isn't even a scroll like that to keep track of our sins because Jesus paid the price of his own precious blood so that we wouldn't have any debts to God. How happy we can be that Jesus has taken away the debt of all of our sins. Well, that's not the end of the story, though. Jesus went on to tell something very sad. That same servant, after he had been set free by the king, and after he was told he didn't know anything anymore, he found another guy who owed him a hundred denarii. Now, it took one day's work to earn one denarius, so 100 denarii was nothing to sneeze at. You would have to work several months to earn that much, but it was still just a drop in the bucket compared to the 10,000 talents. You would think that that servant who had benefited from the king's kindness would have been kind to his fellow servant, but no, he was mean. He grabbed him around the throat and said, pay me what you owe. He too got down and begged, just like the first servant. Have patience with me and I will pay you, he said. And he could have worked and paid it all back.
but the first servant would have none of it. He was not patient. He did not give him any time. Instead, he had him thrown into jail. Well, when the king heard about this, he was very sad. He called the servant in and said, You wicked servant! I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his master delivered him to the jailers. Jesus said, So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Do you think Peter remembered that story? I think he did. It shows that God has been so good to us to forgive us all our sins and not count them against us. He's erased them all from his scroll. He doesn't even have a scroll like that for us. He wants us to forgive those who sin against us and be kind to them. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you paid the full debt for all of our sins. We know, Lord Jesus, that we have committed many sins, but you died on the cross. You poured out your precious blood so that none of those sins would count against us. Help us, dear Jesus, not to count things against those who sin against us, but rather to forgive them and be kind to them. We pray in your name, Jesus. Amen.